Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub, time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Mortal Engines. Um, wasn't really on my radar, but it is now, so I'm going to check it out. It's a post-apocalyptic scenery, uh, world, whatever, where cities are on wheels, and they consume each other to survive, and two people meet in London, and um, try and end a conspiracy, or trying to find a way to stop a conspiracy, something like that, I don't know. Um, could be kind of neat, you know, it's a sci-fi thriller kind of movie, um, a little fantasy in there, 6.3 on IMDb, so not great considering 23,901 people rated it. So when you see that many ratings and it's down at 6.3, eh, but I think it should be entertaining enough, so I'll check it out a little bit, give you a better idea of what it's really about and tell you what I'm thinking about it as I watch it, so stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check-in. We're watching Mortal Engines. We're at the 1 hour, 9 minute, 54 second mark. Um, it's a pretty intricate movie, I think. It's hard to, to really explain. Um, basically, uh, there's this one character, the girl. Um, I already forget her name, but uh, she's riding along in one of the cities. And it's pretty neat. They are real big cities that um, drive around on wheels and things like that. Um, that gets attacked by a really big city called London um, and uh, gets swallowed up whatever well come to find out after you're watching a little bit this girl um, the, the pilot or the captain of London um, had murdered her her mother so she's actually looking for him to get revenge on it when he sucks up their little city into his world um, and um, so that that's all right in the beginning and then there's another there's a guy involved who lived in London uh, who's part of the, you know, like the History Museum or something like that. Somehow, it's very interesting. I don't want to get into too many details, but they, um, you know, she tries to kill him, but he protects the the bad guy. And so, um, and then they both get thrown off the ship together. So they're forging a relationship now, um, and this is how you learn why she was coming after the villain and stuff like that and, and her whole history. Um, meanwhile, back on London, the the captain's daughter, who is also there, um, is starting to find out that maybe it's not all it was supposed to be. So they say that the church or something like that was supposed to be um, breeding power or something like that, creating a power source, I'm not 100% sure, but they're doing something secretly. Um, and she's trying to get to the bottom of that, and she has enlisted another guy. So there's like two, almost couples, um, going after that. So they're going after different um, things. One, uh, the girl's trying to get revenge. The other girl's trying to figure out what's going on and they have guys that are helping them. So that, I don't know. Not the best way to explain it. You have to watch it to really understand it because there's a lot going on and there's a, a robot kind of guy chasing the girl um, who got thrown off the ship and a guy and then there's another girl who comes in and saves him. Whatever. Sorry. The plot you have to watch to understand but it is pretty neat like these big ships that are cities are really cool how they do all that they kind of fold up a little bit and um, but the people a lot of people live on them and they have buildings and castles and so that's neat and then it, all the different flying machines um, it seems like the the earth pretty much is like barren you know there's these kind of tracks I guess where the the machines run through but that's all there is there's no like homes or anything like that it's just um, really just these machines throughout the entire at least what we're seeing here which I assume is the entire world um, and so that's where we are it's, it's neat to see at first I was uh, I was getting a little sleepy um, but it really has picked up and it's a lot of action and sci-fi and uh, fantasy stuff so um, that's it I'll get back into it a little bit more you have somewhat of a better idea. I don't think the plot is as as, in, as is important as the fun of watching it. So, but we got a little under a la an hour left. I'll check it out and see if I can do a better job of telling you what's happening at the end here. Um, but it's worth watching if you're into this kind of stuff, and I like it. So I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of uh, Mortal Engines and. Uh, very entertaining. A little bit long, I think. Um, started to 
wear on me a little bit. Could have been a little bit shorter. I, I think it was 200, 200, two hours and nine minutes. Um, but other than that, I enjoyed it. Like I said, if you're into those, this is, I, I was trying to like create comparisons for you, like Snowpiercing, did you ever see that movie? Um, and uh, Mad Max, kinda, you know, Mad Max was wonderful. Um, but, uh, you know, like a combination of those kinds of things. Um, you know, the the interesting ships and, and people and stuff like that. The people aren't, there's nothing over the top on them. Uh, they're all normal kind of people. They're not, like, uh, dressed up or anything like that. But um, the machines that they use and the, and the world that they live in, that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, you know, so it's Hester was the main character, the, the girl. Uh, whose mother was murdered. She's uh, seeking revenge. Tom was the friend that she got, uh, that she kind of met, and they were the two um, trying to stop them from... What they were trying to do was blow up a wall. So there are, evidently there's a wall that protects them, protects, you know, both sides of the world, I guess, or, or wherever it was. Maybe the country doesn't matter, but uh, the, the evil guy um, was trying to blow down that wall so he could move forward and, and take down more cities and gobble them up um, like they were doing for all the other cities and so she was Hester and Tom were trying to stop that from happening meanwhile she also wanted to get revenge now the villain's daughter as I had said she was trying to find out what was going on and, and once she finds out of course she wants to stop it as well um, but to kind of messed that up I think a, a little bit because um, she had you know befriended another guy that was on the London ship but they didn't play out that storyline they I don't know what happened there there was a little bit of you know her you know finding out what's going on but then it just kind of died they kind of dropped that storyline a little bit uh, but the Hester and Tom one continued on and uh, you know and that's all it was I, I think it was a lot of fun. Not a, the actors I really didn't know. I knew the, the villain. Um, can't remember his name right now. But uh, all in all, I thought it was a, a lot of fun, as I had mentioned, and worth watching. His name was Hugo Weaving. So you've seen him in a couple other things. Everybody else I didn't really I didn't recognize. But I think it's a fun movie. If you like sci-fi and things like that, and some of the comparisons I gave you, and uh, kind of just get lost in the and the imaginary world that they create for you. So, um, probably a six for me. I would probably give it a six. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for you. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.